happy to see you back on the TV with Claim to Fame. I got to just ask first off, you know, outside of TikTok, social media, this is your first really big on-screen camera gig since 2013. Yeah. Just what was the thought process like, you know, deciding to come back and put yourself out there like this again? I mean, I got a call on Valentine's Day that said, hey, would you be interested in hosting a reality show with Kevin? And then I did everything I could to beg Kevin to do it with me because <laughs> any opportunity I could to work with Kevin would be a dream. Okay. So, I mean, I, I was so, so immediately enamored by the idea of the show and we had so much fun filming it. And I'm so grateful that I got to do it with Kevin too. Mm. I think that we just, I think we brought something individually each to it that we wouldn't have been able to do solo. And he's just such a great host and now our relationship is 10 times more close because we just got to work together for the first time in 14 years. Right. I was going to say, how different was it working with him now versus, you know, when you were on Jonas back in the day as like a kid? And I mean, both of you were kids basically back then. Exactly. <laughs> Me being a bit more of a kid than he would have been yes. at the time. Um, <laughs> no, but I, uh, no, I think that for me, like, working with Kevin, because Kevin is the only brother I've worked with in a solo capacity because of mm. Camp Rock 2. And so for me, coming into this, I see being on set, like the blueprint is with Kevin. I think I can't think, <laughs> see myself on set without him. And so uh, I think going into this, I knew I could rely on him. And I'm so grateful that he's as good of a traditional host as he is, because I got to really learn so much from him on how to present myself, how to be a host. And I think I, I really am really grateful that he was on there. Mm. And, you know, while you were filming the show, were you able to bond with some of the contestants about maybe some similar situations that you all have found yourselves in? Absolutely. I think that, <laughs> you know, Kevin, Kevin is way more of the traditional host in a, in a, in a, in yeah. a sense. And so I, I was much more of the Gen Z host. And I think that <laughs> I created a lot of individual connections with a lot of the contestants. And I was able to, I think Kevin and I both relate to them in a really particular way. And I think that What's great about the show is that this particular circumstance of the adjacence to celebrity of to fame, it's never been touched on in this way. And I think you yeah. learn so much about what that identity means and how that interacts in this environment. Uh, Kevin's been saying it's a social experiment and I totally agree. <laughs> and you know, I guess, what did I want to say? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I was, you know, one of the last times you were on a production was this, you know, Hor you know, it just went as wrong as it could possibly go with you, you know, crapping your pants for lack of a better term. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely story. How do you Lovely get story. past that? I mean, <laughs> what, what, what do you have to work on with yourself to kind of maybe get past an experience as horrifying as that must have been? <laughs> I think at a certain point, uh, what really healed that wound for me was when the first time I told the story and someone <laughs> cried laughing. And I was like, wait, there can be a joy that comes from this. And then I started talking about it publicly. And now maybe I regret that because as I'm getting, as I'm interviewing to, for this show, I'm asked about that experience, mm. <laughs> which might be regrettable. It's, it's funny and I'm glad you can be, you know, open or you can find the humor in it now. <laughs> exactly. You know, I think that everybody, everybody poops. Everybody poops. And it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, obviously you made headlines last year for just your, your TikTok, you know, being so popular on that. Just how is it kind of getting into that space? And, and is it something you've kind of slowed down on? It seems like you haven't posted as much this year. And is yeah, there just any reason? I definitely slowed down because I think that I'm so grateful to TikTok because I, I learned so much about myself and got so much ego strength and just being me and just being who I was. And I think yeah. that I'm, I, did it, I didn't do it to blow up on TikTok. I didn't start it in that way or with that intention. I just sort of happened, which I'm grateful for. Um, <laughs> and I think that for me, once I came into this year, I, I spent the beginning of the year backpacking in Europe and then I came home and then I went straight into this. And I think that for me, uh, TikTok, I'm so grateful to it because it just brought me a sense of self, which mm. I think shows so much in claim to fame. And I think that I, without TikTok, without that experience, without that just community, I, I wouldn't have been able to do this in mm. any universe. <laughs> and lastly, can you just tease what some of, you know, what we will see kind of play out to claim to fame, how these people maybe are going to be revealed as, you know, 
relatives of whoever. I think Whoopi Goldberg is one, someone's related to Whoopi. Just how the, how this works out, I guess. <laughs> I mean, there are if if the pool from which we <laughs> cast it from is so massive. I mean, you think of some a name you know that could be someone on the show and yeah. the likelihood of the contestants potentially thinking that someone is whoever you think is so <laughs> high. The amount of names that are thrown out in this show is so, so much. But I think that, I mean, it's such an original concept. It's what I love about the elimination is that Kevin and I, we both didn't know any of, uh, of the relatives of any of the contestants. Okay. So every single elimination, our reactions are 100% genuine. Every shock, every awe, every scream, they're 100% real. And so for us, we're just audience members going along the journey. And I think that audiences are going to see really quickly in the first episode, learn just how big the stakes are for this show. Have you met any of the celebrities that these people are adjacent to? <laughs> I, 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 weirdly enough, I have when I was younger, not since okay. the show, although I, I have been invited to meet them and I, and I feel like it's a conflict of interest until the show comes out. <laughs> until it's, a, until it's, aired. exactly. Until it's released. <laughs> I feel like it's a conflict of interest to be introduced. All right. Well, I am very much looking forward to the show. The concept is awesome. So I can't wait Thank you so much. Thank you for your time today and have a good of one. Of course. Thank <laughs> you. Have a wonderful day, man.